Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the discrete uniform random variable and a couple of examples illustrating this distribution. First of all, let us look at the probability mass function of the discrete uniform random variable. Assuming that uh, the random variable x uh, belongs to the range that consists of values from uh, k to l where k is less than l then the number of values that are possible the, uh, the, the number of values possible for x is basically given by l minus k plus 1 so the probability mass function is defined as 1 over the l minus k plus 1 that is it is defined as 1 my 1 by the number of possible values for the discrete random variable x so that is the uh, uniform distributed discrete random variable in other words uh, the probability mass function of a uniform distributed random variable is equal to 1 by the total number of uh, possible outcomes in the sample space. And obviously, uh, the pr probability mass function is 0 for all the values of x that are not equal to, uh, that do not belong to the uh, sequence k to l. So, let us look at a couple of examples illustrating this discrete uniform random variable. Uh, the first one is a simple uh, experiment consisting of just rolling a die. You roll a die and see the a dot on the face and basically count the number of dots. So, there are possible six possible outcomes. So, and if the die is fair, then each of these possible outcomes are equally likely. Each, each of these outcomes are equally likely, which basically means that the probability mass function of this experiment uh, or this random variable, uh, which has values from 1 to 6, is 1 by 6, since there are six possible outcomes. So, this uh, plot basically shows the probability mass function of the uh, random variable associate, associated with this uh, die experiment. So, you can clearly see that the value of k is equal to 1, value of l is equal to 6 and hence and hence the probability mass function is 1 by 1 uh, l minus k plus 1 which is equal to 1 by 6 minus 1 plus 1 which is 1 by 6. So, the probability mass function is equal to 1 by 6 for each of the values of x from 1 to 6. And obviously, it is 0 for all the values of x that are not equal to 1 to 6. And here, let us look at a more practical example that is commonly used in signal processing applications. Either in radar applications or in communication equipment, you receive always you receive a signal which has basically two components. The first one is amplitude and second one is phase. And this phase component, uh, after conversion from the analog to digital, um, it basically can be treated as a uniform, uniformly distributed discrete random variable. Originally, it should belong to uh, the interval 0 to 2 pi. So, if it is treated as a uh, continuous random variable, you, uh, you will see that its uh, distribution will be or its probability distribution will be equal to 1 by 2 pi. But however, when you convert uh, this phase term into discrete domain or, uh, or basically then it has only n possible values. That means it cannot take all the all the infinite values that are possible between 0 and 2 pi. It can only take any uh, one of these n values in this interval that is 0 to 2 pi. So, and then the probability mass function uh, as described by the definition or as given by the definition will be equal to the uh, number of the values in this set or in the possible range. That is the number of values is equal to 1 n. So, the probability mass function of this uniformly distributed uh, phase is equal to 1 by n. And this graph clearly shows that the probability mass function is equal to 1 by n where the n is the number of values in the in a range. And note that the sum of the probability mass function is still equal to 1. Uh, this can be easily derived by adding the all the probability mass function, uh, all the values in this uh, graph, which are basically equal. So, it will be equal to 1, uh, 1 by or 1 by n into n, which basically from this example, we can learn that uh, the probability mass function for a uniformly, dis a uniformly distributed random variable will be different from the uh, probability mass function uh, from the probability distribution function or probability density function of a continuous random variable and the probability mass function of a uniformly distributed random variable is obviously equal to i uh, and is equal to 1 by the total number of uh, possible outcomes or 1 by total number of values within the range thanks for watching